Hi, welcome to Image Correction and Enhancement. This week we're going to look at some tools that they use to make magazine covers with. Every image that you see in a magazine has been manipulated somehow in Photoshop and I want you to watch this tutorial here. Actually it's not a tutorial but it's kind of um, an article that was on Facebook about Photoshopping and how it's used in magazines. It's a really good article Go ahead and watch this and it's going to give you some really good insight into what we're doing this week. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking an image and we're going to make the image as perfect as possible. And the way we're going to do that is with several different tools here. We're going to use color replacement and I'll show you what the image looks like. Here's the image here. So you'll notice here her skin is has different colors here. We want to even out the color of the skin before we do anything, before we start anything. So we're going to use a tool called Color Replacement to do that with. And while we're doing all this, you're going to start learning about layers and how important layers are and how they all work. Then we're going to use some cloning tools. And what the cloning tools do is they allow us to get rid of blemishes by blending with pixels surrounding the blemishes. Moreover, we're going to learn how to get rid of lines and lessen lines and other areas that we want to blend using various cloning tools. The next thing that we're going to look at is dodging and burning. And dodging and burning is going to help us even out the lightness and darkness. So when we have dark areas, we can lighten it up. And I'll show you how to darken hair so that we can get different effects from that. Then we're going to have fun with filters. We're going to be looking at a surface blur filter that's going to allow us to smooth out the skin and give us that airbrushed look. And then we're also going to look at a filter which all the fun takes place with, and you'll see in the movie here, called Liquify. And with Liquify, we're going to be able to manipulate body parts. And once we're done with that, we're going to look at... oh. I, we're going to look at adjustment layers and how we work adjustment layers with masks to do other things like changing the colors of the eyes, changing, um, adding lipstick color, and um, a few other little tricks that we're going to look at as well. So make sure that you watch this movie. This movie is going to be right below the introduction for the week. And again, make sure that you watch it. So what you're going to do is you're going to complete this tutorial or the set of tutorials using this image here. If you don't want to use an image and you want to take a self-portrait or take a picture of, of a friend, you can do that as well. I would highly recommend if you're going to do that to show it to me first. Because the reason being is if you don't make the work obvious, if I can't tell that you corrected and enhanced the file, so if I can't tell you did color replacement on the file, that you did cloning, that you did dodging and burning, surface blur, and hue saturation, then I'm not going to give you credit for those things. So if your model or if your picture of yourself is already perfect, if you've already got good skin and, so, and no wrinkles and so on and so forth, then you can't really enhance the file too much. And that's not showing me that you're learning anything. So if you're going to use your own image, I would highly suggest that you submit it to me first. So in other words, it's going to be easier if you use my image, and it's going to be more likely that you're going to get full credit from it. Once you finish with the image, you're going to save it as girl.jpg. Don't put your name on it. Do not put your name on it. If you do, I'm going to mark you off. And do not resize it. And then upload it, and that's all you got to do this week. I also want you to make sure that you look at the slideshows. These slideshows here are to really give you inspiration and to really look at the best of the best. And Francesca Woodman is just, or she was, an incredible photographer. So really look at her stuff. It's really great stuff. That's it. Hope you have a great week.